What's going on, family and friends? This is your man, Jamel Adams, with another episode of Mel's Block. We're on the block. We're building leaders of Christ's kingdom. Listen, today, man, I want to share just a real brief story that I was reading this morning during my Bible study, man, and it just touched me and, and the Holy Spirit put on my heart just to remember that as professing Christians, this is what you're called to do. This is what I'm called to do. And if we're not doing this, then maybe we need to examine ourselves because there may be potentially a problem that we need to address. And so, listen, I'm just going to jump right into it. I was in a book of Mark chapter in chapter seven, and I was in verse 24, 25 and 26. And I'm not going to read through all that. But just to kind of give you the context of the story, man, this was a time where Jesus was really fed up. He got tired of the Pharisees um, and the uh, 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 Sadducees and the scribes, the pastors, the religious leaders, man. They just weren't comprehending what he was teaching. They were being very combative. They were being uh, 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 rejecting what he was teaching. And, you know, Jesus has had enough at, the, at this point. And and verse 24, it says that he got up and went away from there. And this is actually one of the first times that we see Jesus leaving Jewish territory and going into a territory of the Gentiles or the non-Jewish uh, uh, ethnic groups. And, you know, something amazing happened when he left the Jewish territory and went amongst the Gentiles. Now, the story says that Jesus was going there. He wanted to be alone for a little bit, but his reputation had spread so far and wide that even though he wanted to be alone for a little bit, you know, it says that uh, he wanted to, he wanted no one to know of it, yet he could not escape notice. And that alone is something to dig into. Um, he couldn't escape notice as much as he wanted to be alone and just kind of recoup and, 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 and rest and maybe pray, spend some time with his, with his, with his disciples. He couldn't, the people kept coming to him and it says about this one lady, she was a Syrophoenician woman. She was a Gentile. Read the story. It's a great story. I'm going to give you one sentence, um, that I read that really spoke to me this morning. And that's the beginning of verse 25. It says that, but after hearing of him. But after hearing of him, after hearing of him, she came to him with her prayer request. She came to him and he was able to minister to her. And, you know, the story is amazing. But that that one phrase there, but after hearing of him, you know, we pray for people so often. We hope that people come into salvation so often. We pray for our brothers and sisters, our parents. We pray for our, our you know, friends or co-workers. So often we're on our hands and knees praying that people come to salvation. And listen, there's nothing wrong with that. We want to take our prayer requests to God. We want to get on our hands and knees. We want to lift these people up to God so that the Holy Spirit moves in their lives. But it says, after hearing of him, she went to him. Somebody came to her. And somebody told her what Jesus was doing in all these different regions and all the miracles and healings and acts of power that he was doing. And that word that was given to her moved her to go towards the Messiah. I mean, it says, but after hearing of him. And, you know, to me, that just blessed me this morning because it's, 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 it's a challenge for me. You know, we do the videos and we do Bible studies and we do different things. But listen, we're called as Christians to take the word into the world. Uh, Paul told Timothy to proclaim the word in season or out of season. No matter if it's accepted or not accepted, proclaim the word because they will not come into the kingdom unless we call them, unless we preach the word. It's the external calling. And I wanted to share just two scriptures with you this morning. One is in Romans 10 verse 17. And it says, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of God. And so while we're praying for people, we're praying that God moves in their lives through the Holy Spirit. We also need to understand that faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of God. You can't just pray 
and you can't just have casual conversations with people. If you want them to come into a saving faith, you need to be talking to them about the word of God because faith comes from hearing this. See, this Syrophoenician woman was hearing the word. She was hearing the gospel as it was happening in real life. And that word produced in her an active faith that caused her to go to a Jewish Messiah and ask for her, ask for him to heal her daughter. See, there was a separation between the Jews and the Gentiles during this time in history. So it was a true act of faith which caused her to go to this Jewish Messiah and ask for him to help her Gentile daughter. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So speak the word to your family, to your friends, to your co-workers. The Bible says that you've not been given a spirit of fear. So move in boldness, move in the power of the Holy Spirit. Another verse that I want to give you is in the book of Romans as well. It's chapter 10, verse 14. And that verse says, how then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? Some of us have this idea that, you know, well, they see how we live and our life is a representation. And that's true. Your life is a representation. We're supposed to be imitators of Christ Jesus. But God has also given us his word. And he says, go out and proclaim it on the highways and byways so that they can hear the word of God. And by hearing the word of God, faith will be produced in them and that faith will bring them to the cross. How then will they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how are they to believe in him whom they have never heard? And how are they to hear without someone preaching? Someone needs to preach. Someone needs to go out there. Someone needs to open their mouth and proclaim the gospel and the word of Jesus Christ. And when you do that, the word of God says that, like this Syrophoenician woman, that when she heard of him, she was moved to go find the Messiah. Today, I challenge you, take what God has given you. Take the word that God has given you and give it to somebody that you've been praying for. Sit down and preach the gospel to them. Don't expect them to be saved because you've preached the gospel. Expect them to be saved because through the preaching of the gospel, the Holy Spirit moved within them and changed their heart. Y'all be blessed until next time. This is your man, Jamel, with Mel's Block. And on the block, we build leaders for Christ's kingdom. And how you build leaders is by giving them the word, not your opinion, not yourself, but Jesus Christ. Y'all be blessed until next time, man. Later.